Hello everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. This is a combination haul of some of John's birthday gifts. He was 81 on March 25th. So some of the things are gifts and then some of the things are pieces that we have gotten couple things came from Goodwill and then the rest of them came from yard sales or a little flea market and then there is a Easter gift here too. So I'll just give you an overview and then we'll look at them all individually. Okay, we will start up here with John's birthday gifts. Y'all know how much he loves tins, and of course, I love them too. So, I got him this Swift's Silverleaf Pure Lard Pail, and it does have the bale handle, and this is a two-pound can. You can make, see it was made by Swift & Company. And it's really in good shape. Here's the top. That's something we didn't have was a lard tin. Then this beautiful Raleigh's Pure Mustard tin. It is dated on the lid. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it or not. Let me see if I can turn it over. September 14th, 1915 was the patent. So that is a really neat spice tin. And we have a larger size of this Golden Sun in a different spice, but I was able to find him. This Golden Sun Mace, it's made by the Woolson Spice Company, Toledo, Ohio, and this one is dated 1912. Copyright 1912, right there, the Woolson Spice Company. It's such a pretty tin. And then this Watkins Pure Ground Mustard. And it has a different type of lid on top. I think it is just really unique. And of course, he was happy as can be. And he also got Lowe's gift cards and restaurant gift cards. So he was very happy and will be going flower shopping soon. Then, at a yard sale, got this unique child's cup. I have never seen one made like this. I'm going to see if I can take the top off with one hand. All right. Here's inside the cup, and you can see those two little notches, that's where the lid fits down in. And it is Sheffield. It's hard to see it, but the top fits back in those two little slots. I've never seen a cup like that before, and I'm presuming this was a baby cup. Then got this little creamer. I thought the shape was really cute. And then at Goodwill, I got six of these bread plates or dessert plates with the red and white. And they are red uh, transfer and they are restaurant wear. And here's what the back looks like. It was the Shenango China Company, Newcastle, Pennsylvania. And the day I bought these, it was half price on the dishes. So I got them for $3.50 for all six plates. Then at a little flea market, I got this wonderful brown transfer transferware pitcher or mug. I'm not sure. It has a tiny looking little spout, so I'm not sure whether that was supposed to be a mug or a pitcher, but I'm assuming a pitcher. And I'll show you the bottom. 
Porcelain Royal, Pitcairns Limited, Turnstall, England, Norma. Everything I got at that little flea market was $11. I got that, and I got this absolutely gorgeous purple transfer wear. And this is Old English Staffordshire wear made in Staffordshire, England for Natural Bridge, Virginia. And I may have told you before when I found something else from Natural Bridge that's somewhere that's not that far away from us and somewhere we have been many, many times. In fact, our area used to always take the elementary school children there. It's just beautiful. Then I got this Beatrice Potter mug. See the artist. And this one is copyrighted 1936, Royal Dalton, Bunnikins. Now this one is a newer one, and it's dated 1997. Royal Dalton, Beatrice Potter. Got all four of those pieces, and this beautiful plate of the old meal. And this is the meal stream made in England by Johnson Brothers. And I thought that was just beautiful. So all of those pieces were $11. Then at the yard sale where I got those silver pieces, I got this salt and pepper. And they are the same color. The back one looks darker, but it's the way the shadow is. And one didn't have the top. And I have no idea whether they're old or new because they're not marked, but they were a dollar. And the two silver pieces were a dollar piece. I don't think I told you that. And then my sweet neighbor, she knows how much I love ironstone. So she brought me this beautiful English ironstone pitcher with some of her forsythia from her forsythia bushes. And I thought that was just so sweet. So I hope you enjoyed seeing these few treasures. And I hope everyone has a good day and a good rest of the week. Love and blessings to y'all from me and John and baby boy. And we'll see you again soon. Till the next time. Bye-bye.